Oh, hello, how are you doing? Welcome to Tom's Tavern. Yeah, one of our members called uh, One for the Road has asked me to explain a little bit about um, soil stacks. Oh, look at that bull. He's asked me to explain a little bit about soil stacks, what a durable that was for, and uh, what's a sub stack. So, I'll do my best. Right, okay, well this is a typical uh, soil stack installation. You've got your soil stack there, which is generally called, which is, well, always uh, a vertical installation with an open top. And the open top is called the vent. It's a four inch pipe on an all house. And you've, this is a, a, a typical basin, a bath and a toilet, which is, you know, you'll sometimes maybe have a shower you could have a washing machine going in and a sink from the base and um, it has to be open vent because when you flush the toilet or you let the bath go it creates a vacuum in there which can suck out one of the other traps if things are going wrong uh, and once it's sucked out the trap then uh, you're going to get the smell of the soil uh, of the stench of the drains and the sewer all coming back into the house, which is unpleasant. So that's why we've got to keep within the, dorm, the dimensions set down by the, uh, the building people. And I, I don't keep dimensions in my head, but generally that's the bigger the pipe, the shorter of the branch it's going to be. And a bath has always got to have an inch and a half pipe, which is 44 mm, and a basin's always got to have 32 mm pipe, which is inch and a quarter. And the shorter the better. Right, so that's um, a typical insulation with an open vent. If you haven't got an open vent, uh, you need one. But on some, some occasions where you've got two bathrooms and one's vented, you can get away with a Durgo valve on the other one. Now a Durgo valve is a valve that you can Put on your soil pipe. Just found the pen. And it's shaped a bit like that. And inside there is a mechanical device which will let the air go in but won't let the smell out. So if there's a if something's sucking on there, if that's been put in and it's it's pulling down and he's trying to suck this out a valve will open up in there which lets air flow in and it'll stop that sucking of um, the traps off you can also get the same things on here you can get um, what they call anti-vac traps on your bath and your basin if you're having trouble and that again that lets air in when there's a build up here in the vacuum so that's what I do guys. Now a stub sack, stub, a stub stack is just a, a short stack really and it's just going in and out. You can put a cap on there if that drain is already vented somewhere on the other house. That might be coming from the uh, under the, at the side and it's already vented with the bathroom or the all suite. Then you don't need it to be vented and you just cut it off short and you can blank that Oh, if you want to put a, a Durgo on it, that's okay, but if it's already vented, just a short stack like that'll be okay. Uh, so that's a sub stack. Right, um, okay, I think that's about um, answered your questions. If you've got any more, just let me know. Come and have a show.